PK Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the first stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the Northern Trust is about to begin. I'm Luke Olby alongside Rich Beam, and we're at TPC Boston. Take us through this opening hole. Par 4, 365 for the backs. This is as simple as it gets. Players generally going with the long iron hybrid at the most. They're going to have a wedge for the second. The only place they can stick the flag on this hole on the left-hand side or all the way in the back that will present any kind of challenges. An opening three here is almost required. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the first. Not bad. Three feet to go here to the hole. They made it. Off to a great start today. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. From the back of the par five, 542 yards, players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score to this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. Well, I like the look of the line here. We should find the fairway. TPC Boston recently refurbished by Gil Hans Rich in this second hole. It's a beauty, particularly with the approach. You might think about going forward in two, laying up down the left-hand side. Leaves you a pretty simple pitch shot across a marsh, though, that's waiting to gobble up your golf ball if you get careless. It might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Would it be nice to make this putt? This is for Regal. Right by the hole. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Okay, steady now. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Uh, it never feels nice. A three putt par here. He's currently tied for eighth. We are at the third. The tee is yours. Par three from the back tee measures 208 yards. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. Opting for the five wood. And he's safely on the green with that shot. This putt from around 18 feet. This one's looking good. And that will drop in for birdie. 
currently a couple under for the event. The fourth at TPC Boston Rich, a great short par four. Par four measures 298 yards from the back tee. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Yeah, this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Oh, so close. Running up the birdie putt here. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Par four, 466 yards, dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one, you'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. From around 170 yards here, only one shot off the pace. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. Yeah, nice looking shot there. Heck of a shot, setting up almost a guaranteed birdie. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And top spot on the leaderboard to boot. Now leading by one shot. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. We've arrived at a par four hole. Par four, 465 yards for the back tee. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity, but once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogies and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulations spot on all day. Awesome. I like the look of this. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And that will take him to five under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Here we have a long par five. Par five that measures 600 yards from the back tee and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away or do I lay back in it? Either way, you must make a par five here because birdies will be had by the big hitters. Nicely done. Well, I don't know about you at home, but I'm very excited for some playoff action, and we begin these FedEx Cup playoffs right now. This is the first event, and Rich, there's a lot of excitement about it. How do the players feel going into this opening event of the playoffs? Well, 125 guys have their eye on the prize now, don't they? Now, the top players, they are looking to close out the season in fine fashion and win the FedEx Cup championship, but there's still a lot of golf to be played, Luke. Every player does have a realistic chance or a a chance let's not say realistic because number 125 he's got to run the tables if he wants to win the fedex cup 
But in saying that, it gives everybody an opportunity to finish the year out on a high note. Those 125 know they have a job for next year, so they're excited. The 70 are trying to move into the 30, so on and so forth. So everybody has something to play for at the end of the day. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Par three measures 213 yards and a diabolical green to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side and the green is usually very firm, a tough ask. Almost went in. Very good look at Birdie here. And mark it down. That's Birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to seven under. Currently in first position. And after a birdie at the last, we'll take the end on the hole. Ninth hole, par four, 472 yards from the back tee. Bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Well played, mate. Second shot here on the ninth hole. looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a star. That's well hold. And with that, we'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Ooh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. That forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. around 110 yards to go. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. This is a good chance. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And after that hole, leading Tommy Fleetwood by three now. We have a par three on this one. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Looks like they've got the five wood. Oh, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Well, well hold. You'll take the birdie. Our current leader is up by three shots. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Par four, 510 yards. It is a brute. Those bunkers down the right-hand side are a natural attraction for wayward golf balls. Second shot is down the slope. A big, deep, gaping bunker on the right-hand side will also find its fair share of golf balls. All in all, just a tough hole, to say the least.
going with the five wood. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Wow, what a shot. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. It's got a chance. It was on a good line. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Well hold. Let's move on. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Par four, 447 yards. Tee shot up the hill to a blind landing area. Second shot is to a green that is surrounded by a cavern of bunkers. If you miss all those and find the green in two, then you'll have a decent look at a birdie three. Oh, well done. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. Nice stroke. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. Par four from the tips, 495 yards. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I've got to say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. Lovely effort, that. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. A converted par four for the tournament, Rich, and it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. You like that, didn't you? Just put right on 10 feet, a good one to make. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Hey, nice looking line. That was a gallant attempt. An opportunity to make their par. And down it goes. Now, five shots up after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Par four, and a fun little par four at that, just 421 yards from the back. Fairly generous fairway, but a green that can provide some entertainment as there's some different swales in the green, and your golf ball can go a-wandering if you're not careful. Wonderfully played. Playing from 110 yards out. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. And it's just about three feet away. Well done. Take the bird. That is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. Sitting at 12 under par for the event. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Opting for the five iron. Yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green and regular shot. 
And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to home. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's see what happens here at the 17th. 17, par four, 412 yards. Dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find the sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. Nicely done. This one might need to sit. Well struck. Seven feet to the cup. Ooh, nice looking putt. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. He sits in first position. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC boss who can be right up with the very best of them. Par five, 530 yards. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Well, that's well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. Looking good. Well, that's the way to start the FedEx Cup players with a victory in the opening playoff event, the Northern Trust. What a performance. Yes, good victory here at TPC Boston. Great week all around. Plenty of players in contention. However, you can only have one winner, and this player rose and showed above the rest. That's stepping up at the right time, Rich. Getting a victory in the FedEx Cup playoffs. This is where it pays to perform. FedEx Cup wins, playoff wins, massive accomplishment. Good job. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby, and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.